I'm Mark Hanley, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Tank automation is usually thought about getting done through technology. Controllers, dosing pumps, apps, things like that. But if you overlook the livestock part of tank automation, you'd be missing a big part of the tank automation picture. I'm talking about cleanup crew members. Little critters that run around your tank, clean things up, and help make your tank look great. Cleanup crews can be single members, and usually they're made up of a mix of invertebrates that include snails, shrimp, starfish, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and crabs. Crabs in a reef tank? Are you nuts? They're gonna eat all your coral. Mm, not so much. See, some hobbyists think that crabs shouldn't be in a reef tank because they have claws and therefore they're gonna eat your coral. And after all the years of reef keeping, all the crabs that I've kept in my reef tanks, I've rarely found that to be the case. Sure, I've had one or two that went rogue and I saw it eating a polyp or two, but they didn't kill a coral. They didn't cause lasting damage to a coral. See, crabs are simply too valuable of a cleanup crew member for me to want to keep them out of my reef tanks. So if you have crabs in your reef tanks, don't be concerned about them eating your coral. If you see one that is eating your coral, grab them, remove them, throw them in your sump. You had that one bad apple, but that one bad apple doesn't have to spoil the whole damn bunch. Digging deeper into the cleanup crew, some are herbivores and some are carnivores and some are both. While some, while some are carnivores, what they don't eat is live fish. Your cleanup crew members will eat a lot of things, but what they're not gonna eat is a healthy fish, like this Bengay Cardinal here. Even though this guy moves slow, a cleanup crew member is not gonna take him down. If you see a cleanup crew member eating a fish, it's because that fish is dead or was dying and they were able to get a hold of it. Look, a hermit crab isn't gonna swim out in the water column, grab a fish, hold on to it long enough to kill the thing and then start eating it. Starfish certainly aren't gonna do that either and cucumbers certainly aren't gonna do it as well. So don't buy into the myth that your cleanup crew members can eat your fish. Okay, back to the cleanup crew members. Snails are some of my favorite cleanup crew members as you can see the results of their hard work. When they consume algae, they leave a trail of clean rock behind them. How's that for instant gratification? The Nasiri snails come up from the sand to eat dead fish or uneaten food. How cool is that? I like Astrea snails best, and if you've got a legit algae outbreak, Mexican turbos can sure help. Here at saltwateraquarium.com, we only stock sizable snails. No mini cirrus that get stuck in your pumps. Our snails are medium to larger sizes, so they work harder for you. Shrimp, specifically cleaner shrimp, peppermint shrimp, and fire shrimp. These guys all scurry around your tank and get rid of any waste they can find. Plus, they look cool and your kids will love them. While cleaner shrimp look cool and they're valued members of your cleanup crew, what they don't do is eat diseases off your fish. If they did, then the fish in my 225 gallon tank, which had multiple cleaner shrimp in it, never would have gotten marine velvet because the cleaner shrimp would have cleaned it off. It's a big myth that cleaner shrimp keep your fish disease free. This is simply not true. Don't buy it. So put the cleaner shrimp in your tank because you like them as the cleanup crew members. They may jump onto your fish to have a look around, but what they're not doing is eating ick or marine velvet off your fish. Starfish. Serpent and brittle stars are great for tanks. Remember, while these guys may get big, they're not gonna eat a healthy fish. Linky and Fromia stars are not easy to keep and I don't recommend them. Chocolate chip starfish are also off my list as well. Crabs. Hermit crabs and emerald crabs are on my list. Remember when adding hermit crabs to also add empty snail shells. Hermit crabs can't make their own shell, so they have to find a bigger one to move into as they grow. If they can't find a bigger shell, they're gonna murder a snail to get theirs. Urchins, tuxedo and pincushion urchins. Great algae eaters, completely reef safe, and they look cool. Here at saltwateraquarium.com, we have both individual cleanup crew members and made for you packages. No matter what route you choose, acclimation is important and we'll cover acclimating your cleanup crew properly in the next episode.